Hello mates, yeah the boat turned out lovely. I'm just going to do a video now and let you see the power system and tell you a little bit about it. Batteries, motor, ESC and jet drives. Uh, but yeah, it was a, it's a lovely boat, donated by uh, Piranha people. Thank you very much for this. It's given us a lot of fun. There's going to be quite a lot of fun to come. Uh, the boat's pretty much finished. I am going to make these a little bit wider just so that I get some uh, cruising speeds can go down a little bit and I'll be on the plane at lower speeds. Uh, what have we got? We've got my jet drives in a box like this stuck in, without the lid, stuck into a, uh, into a kayak. And we'll have a look on the inside at what we've got. There's a couple of my jet drives. Uh, as I said, it's a bit old this tin. Uh, it's been pulled out of, it was originally in a surfboard and I pulled it out and put it in the boat. Been in a few surfboards actually. I think this is my first tin. And as you can see, it was a bit short. So we've had to uh, cut the back out a little bit to accommodate the bigger motors. Uh, but we've got the jet drives, which are all well and good. Uh, a couple of couplers. And then we get onto the motors. Uh, now, you've got to have a good motor size. These are a little bit overkill, but I'd rather have them too hot than too cold. Uh, and the size of these motors is 56 millimeters wide and 112 millimeters long. Uh, and they're about it's nearly 10 horsepower, believe it or not. Uh, there are smaller motors, which is the 56 millimeter 102, uh, and they will propel the jet drive just as well I've been told and they're a bit more economical uh, and I think they come in at about eight and a half possibly horsepower each hang on a minute six yeah about eight and a half horsepower so yeah you can run them more economically on the uh, 102s as opposed to the 112s that I've got okay uh, the servo uh, you don't need one of them for the surfboards but if you do want one? Uh, the one I'm using has got a it's a 17 kilo torque. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, and it runs on six volts. I've got mine on about six and a half just to speed it up a bit. Uh, see now the one on. Not seen this here enough. Oof. Alright, uh, sure, let's give him a whiz. Should we give it a whiz? Hold on to your ears. jumping jack flash. Uh, the ESCs are uh, actually uh, flyer 240 amp 3 to 16 cell. Uh, I've got them on 60 volts. Uh, I have changed the plastic wrap so I can see what's going on but uh, everything look all the capacitors look like there's nothing blistered up on them they're all nice and flat. Always, oh, everything stays lovely and cool. So yeah, you've got the, uh, these are just two milli stainless push rods. Uh, and that's about it from that side. I'll open the, the box up in a bit so you can have a look at the uh, receiver. I'll get that out of the way. Uh, and here's the batteries. Now, I spent pretty dear on the batteries, but you can get them for about £2 a cell. But for a setup like this, you will need 180 cells. So it's quite a lot of money, as you can see, it adds up. You can get away with 80 cells. I've been using uh, 160 cells, 80 cells each side, uh, and running it on 10 cell. You can divide that up into a 10 cell setup which I quite, I, it seems to be 
better actually. I'd say 12 cell is, is going to be the, the bomb, but it means we're making uh, the packs up into 6 cell packs to make it easier. Uh, <coughs> the wire, the cable, which I'm using here, is 4AWG. As you can see, it's the very highly one with a lot of strands in it. Uh, and the cheapest you'll get is if you put in looking for uh, car battery leads. But you need to get the one that's got the extra fine uh, wires. Uh, so I think that's rated about 170 amps continuous. So they don't get warm. Uh, and that is about it. Uh, the ESCs, both of them go into a Y harness. Now I have actually grabbed a few to show you what a Y harness looks like. It's both your ESCs, please ignore that cut wire. Because with the flyers, you don't cut the wires, yeah? Uh, because there's no uh, beck uh, to power anything coming off those. And for some reason they need a signal, which the red wire must have something to do because they won't work unless you, you leave them uncut so both ESC's you get one wire into one of those and the ESC just goes into your receiver yeah without looking at the inside of it yeah. as I say it's uh, not been built for looks Servo uh, controller, easy enough. There's your wire lead going in. Oops, sorry. There's your wire lead going into number two. Uh, servo going into number something else. Uh, servo into number one. And a few batteries just to power the uh, little what's it. Receiver, uh, this was about 12 13 quid off eBay for that and the little thing that's uh, all right, then, fellas. I hope that's answered a few questions. They're running at about 60 volts. Uh, but as I say, everything runs nice at about 46 volts, uh, somewhere in betwixt. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Can't think of anything else. Anything else? Anything else? Hang on. Okie dokie, so that's about it. Let's get the bolts away. Goodbye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. I hope that was informative. not scripted this is it all right my mates have a lovely evening and all the very best to